Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mental Cast. This is episode number 411, brought to you by GeekJuiceMedia.com. You can also find us at Patreon.com, where if you're a patron of at least $5 or more a month, you can listen to Excel versions of the Mental Cast at Patreon.com slash Mental. You can email us at MentalCast at GeekJuiceMedia.com, or you can also find us on Facebook at MentalCast or Geek Juice. I'm Mike Riley. I'm, I'm Mike. Carpenter. Okay. I'm Billy Carter. I'm Ashley Miller. I'm Jace the Ace. Ooh. Uh, so. It's raining. It is. It's uh, unseasonably <laughs> warm where I live. It's unseasonably warm where we live as well. Yeah. I think it got up to like almost 60 today. <laughs> 57. It's ridiculous. It was 63 yesterday where I, I live. Know, and now and, it's 34. Yeah, I was going to say, on top of all that, the groundhog didn't even see his shadow. So it looks like spring's coming early. God, I hope so. And then so the joke will be on us when it doesn't, and we get buried under like, you know, 50 Shut feet of up. <laughs> I haven't had the shovel yet this year. I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> I, I shoveled once, so. Speaking of shoveling, let's shovel out the top five metal news stories of the week. That's right. The top five metal news stories of the week. You give us 22 minutes and I'll sit here and eat jelly beans and look fat. Number five, the world is her toilet. Speaking of turds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a woman was arrested on a charge of disorderly conduct after allegedly bumping into people on the street and urinating in front of police officers. Uh, Cumbria Police, Cumbria United Kingdom, said that uh, they have arrested 35-year-old Victoria Nelson after being accused of being drunk in public. Nelson was charged with failing to surrender to police and being drunk and disorderly. She was brought to she was brought before the South Cumbria Magistrates Court, where she pled guilty to the two charges. She was ordered to pay 265 pounds in fines and for court costs. Well, it's a good thing that uh, she wasn't a koala. Well, if a koala pees on you, you get chlamydia. That's true. Like, like over 50 percent of koalas have chlamydia. If you, like, alright, the two guy, some one of the two guys from um, One Direction was holding a koala, and it peed on him, and they got chlamydia. Uh. <laughs> you have chlamydia now. <laughs> they automatically, after it happened, they whisked them to the hospital and just started pumping the antibiotics in them. <laughs> uh, at number four is entitled, uh, Who Throws Potato Chips? Honestly. 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 Oh, come on. I Seriously. Of, I threw a bag of potato chips at the I'm TV so with the Packers The fact locked. that Koala Piss has chlamydia. <laughs> and also there's anal in a Marvel movie. Did you know that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Five dicks eat them. Five dicks eat them. This is all look at Florida. Hey, <laughs> I have Florida. enjoyed hey, actually hey, minimalist Florida. minimalist insults here. Uh, a man was arrested on a charge of assault after allegedly throwing potato chips on a Walmart worker. Police in Florida said. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, is this what? some sort of like double shot thing? Because it's Florida and Walmart, like yeah, uh, possibly. He, uh, he also had it. So this guy had a huge chip on his shoulder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gainesville police said they have arrested 61 year old James Donald Robertson Jr. after being accused of attacking a Walmart employee who refused to sell him a bag of potato chips uh, Robertson was charged with one count of simple battery he was booked into the Alakua County Jail he was released without bail this man you know is a fuck shovel you, 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 you guys want to hear something uh, interesting about Gainesville oh there's the man by the way Dane just uh, our producer just put a picture of him in there you guys want to hear something, an interesting tidbit about Gainesville? He uh, looks like he throw potato chips at you. Yeah. Gainesville is where the southern accent stops. Okay. Well, the south. Hmm. After that, it's just Michigan again. <laughs> <laughs> just Michigan I have one thing again. to say about this whole potato chip fucking <laughs> thing. What? Probably better it be potato chips than a fucking potato because the look on that guy's face, he looks like he'd probably chuck a spud and, you know, he not is, feel the slightest he, he looks, shame. He looks like Dick Miller's uh, uh, 
crackhead brother. He looks like he looks like Prune Face from Dick Tracy to me. Actually, your turn to friends is a thing of beauty. <laughs> now it's, Dick, Tra- now Tra- I'm... Take, uh, Dick Tracy, take that, Prune Face. Now I'm Prune Tracy. Uh, number three uh, is the breast drugs. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. The excuse me? A woman was arrested uh, on the charge of driving under the influence after allegedly driving her car while she was drunk. Pinellas County Police said they arrested 24-year-old Ariel Ingert after she was caught hiding drugs in her bra and purse and offering sex in exchange for letting her walk free. Does that ever oh, work? That's, that's typical. That's never that, worked. That, that never works. Never, ever, ever worked. By the way, I think... Yeah, there's the picture ever. That's her, by the way. Holy shit. Wow. Well, um, was the cop gay? <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh... Yeah, that's a pretty hot criminal right there, I gotta say. I'm I'm She's, just wondering, did she ever did she see that viral him? video from a while back, though? The whole, like, you what? know, titties are not a wallet. Like, you know... So who who would oh, have titties ever, are oh, not I a do. pocket? Yeah. That's got to be like her Instagram hotness photo. <laughs> that's clearly that's her, not like her. I well, just got I, well, she's wearing photo. the white and she's wearing the white and black stripes. So that's actually her mugshot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> tits. So so did she I take a clue from? Uh, too. She What's take that? a clue from that other guy from the other week who uh, oh. sent the cops his own uh, selfie. You know, going like, no, that picture's used this picture to be. instead. Oh, I've got a raging clue. <laughs> I've got a raging clue right now. Oh, oh, oh! I'll be all shy. I'll be all right. I got a raging. But I mean, wrong. at least it wasn't hidden in her um, yeah. her vagina. Her vagina. Chlamydia. I would. <laughs> I, I would. I would like to search that contents, ma'am. I'm sure you would, Billy. But yeah. <laughs> At number I think two, any straight guy would, but number yeah, two, yeah. Um, while she was being booked, I don't know if Mike mentioned this. She was in the processing of getting booked, and a small bag of cocaine was found in her bra as well. Yeah. So oh. not only not Wait, only was she arrested for DWI, I was asking what she got arrested for. Yeah, uh, they did. They searched her bra and her purse for drugs. Uh, so that, that, that is pretty much story, introducing yeah. contraband into a prison. Yes. Oh, shit. Number two, Crimes of the Shart. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Mike, that was great. Sounds, <laughs> sounds like someone played Russian roulette with their underwear and lost. A woman was arrested after she shoplifted groceries. Police in Florida. Uh-oh. Oh, I heard about this. Oh! Things. Said that the woman of Landa Lakes blamed her bad bathroom habits for stealing groceries. 51 year old Paula J. Ernst stole $199 in groceries from a public supermarket in Hernando. Uh, she placed the items in reusable bags that she brought along and left the store without paying because she shat herself. Uh... <laughs> 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 Sometimes Reboot. that happens. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. Uh, <sighs> Sometimes you just you poop yourself, it happens. I'm trying to hold back. Is she old? Record. Like do we have a picture of this woman? Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she does look she, like the type. She she, she, uh, she has that look on her face. Like, can, can we hurry this up? I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I just shit my pants. Can I go? This home? is the I just pooped my pants look. <laughs> I'm doing the I'm doing the penguin model over here. I, I just made it dirty in my pants. <laughs> Excuse me. It's squinchy right now. Could you please take off my pants so I can wash my? Oh. Our number one news story this week is called He Thinks His Tractor's Sexy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. If by tractor you mean my penis. He's no. got large tractors. No, we mean his tractor. A Suffolk man. Oh, with a... wait a minute. I th- where? Suffolk. Like in Virginia? Uh, yes. I think so. I'm thinking England. Uh, I think, oh, no, no, yeah, you're right. There's pretty much two of those. And my Suffolk is very rural, so... There's, there's also a Suffolk in uh, Massachusetts, too, so... 
Hold on. Is I'm your secret to... rule? Like, are there lots of farmers in yours? I off honestly, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where this is. Hold on a second. Mine's the Hicksville of the Hampton Roads area. I I have a Hicksville here in Ohio, and it's called yeah, Hicksville. There's there's Suffolk. Eh, well, uh, it actually, is UK. It's really it called is... Hicksville. It is UK. I went, I went and resourced the story so I could find out where okay. it was, and it's in Good. UK. I didn't have to worry about, like, crazy tractor <laughs> something weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's Suffolk, there's Suffolk everywhere. I mean, there's Suffolk University, Boston, Suffolk in, uh, New York, but Suffolk County in Massachusetts. Is uh, this, uh, is this gentleman's name Ralph Bishop? Yes. Okay. Just to, well, I'd, li- I'd like to I'd like to read the story at some point. Okay, go on. A uh, Suffolk man with a bizarre sexual attraction to tractors has been banned from the countryside and forced to sign the sex offenders register. Uh, Ralph Bishop, 53, was found by police with his trousers around his ankles, quote unquote, interfering with a tractor parked in a field outside Saxmundham. He was arrested on suspicion of outraging public decency. That's the same. That no, that's not the that's not the photo. Oh no! You just reposted the photo of the. Guy. I was I was trying to post something else. <laughs> it's the same guy. It's it's the same guy. guy. That's the and man. No, that's a tractor. That's a tractor. That's <laughs> wow, he's a very. He, listen, he sent me a John Deere letter. Oh. <laughs> oh. See what the point I was trying to bring up is that apparently this man, Mr. Bishop, has had. Well, I was sexicles with 450 tractors. I was in the middle of that sentence. <laughs> I was really, I was actually literally in the middle of reading that sentence. You might want to get yourself tested. Yeah, he had sex with around 450 tractors all over the Suffolk countryside. <laughs> oh my god! When officers searched his terraced home, they found a collection of more than 5,000 tractor images on his laptop. <laughs> oh, tractors! Oh, this guy. Tractors. This guy. Uh, According to the article, this guy is twice divorced. You don't say. You really? I wonder why. And here I was thinking that the top story was going to be about that girl in uh, Norway who thinks she's uh, a cat. Oh my nope. god, that crazy bitch. Well, that uh, doesn't... She, it's, it's a John... This guy evidently is a John deere <laughs> That, that will us- never beat for me the woman who married the Berlin Wall. So this guy fucks tractors, huh? Well, uh, I mean, like, I knew a guy who was so drunk once that he fucked his truck. It was well, quite a horrific it, sight. It it was it is actually possible to have sex with a car. The problem is is that a lot of people get killed doing it. So <laughs> what they say you need to do when you have sex with a car is first of all make sure the car is not running. Uh, put a a c- can koozie. Like in the exhaust pipe, and then like use either a condom or just lube it up really good. Or or and, or and just, or no. wait a minute. Or just don't or do it at all. here's the thought. Here's the thought. This and it's a radical thought. Just stay with me on this. Don't fuck cars. Or animals. But maybe don't put your dick in a tailpipe. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> I, I've never fucked a car, but Mansers apparently proves you can fuck a car. I mean, let's, let's face Actually, it. your it's... knowledge of how to have intercourse with a car is a little frightening. It's it's funny, because, I mean, like, as long as man has had a penis, it's one to stick it in things. Or do I, things yeah. with it. Okay, let, let's, let's take a poll here. <laughs> That's um, the poor choice of words, I think. Let's take a poll. <laughs> um... <laughs> What what is the more fucked up place that a man has put his winky, in a car, or in, in the uh, a pool filter? Like you know, like the little hole. <laughs> uh, well, I, I I go for the third option, uh, Joni China Lorer. <laughs> this that, was the music. Uh, <laughs> that was up there. Is, there is no evidence that she has either. I I don't know. I mean, uh, I mean, you just get a. In my opinion, you got to bring it back to Peter Griffin with the, uh, the mm. pencil sharpener, you know, or uh, like, do I do I conduct with my penis? You know, like just him sharpening the pencils, and then he just looks to both directions, looks at the pencil sharpener, zip, and then you're just like, oh, 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 god, oh, god, oh, you know, like. Hey, first of all, you don't put your penis in a pencil sharpener. 
if your um, penis is small enough to fit in a pencil sharpener, there's another problem there too, you know. Yes, you have pencil dick and Listen, I will cry. Unless unless your penis is from Ticonderoga. <laughs> you just you just don't do these things. A no. number two penis. <laughs> Yeah. Like, please, uh, please, students, to... please take out a number two penis. <laughs> I just I thought mean... of a double meaning with that number two penis. Oh. Aww. I mean, if you think about it, that was, that was number one. Penis. That was that was pretty <laughs> shitty, actually. Oh, at, sorry, at who's got a shit there? Fucking pineapple. At least he didn't say pineapple. God, this week in music. Making a pineapple. This week in music. We're not <laughs> talking about this anymore. This what week in music. Do it. Way. No, I don't think Just you heard me. I don't think you heard me. We're not talking about this anymore. <laughs> this week in music on February 5th, Still Waters by Breakbot, Back on My Wall by Burnt Palms, Is the Is R by DIIV, Wonderful Crazy Night by Elton John, Common Time by Field Music, All I Need by Foxes, Marathon by Francis, Nightmare Afternoon by Jagged Leaves, Big Back Coat by Junior Boys, We Are King by King, The Ghost of Highway 20 by Lucinda Williams, Majid Jordan self-titled, Mass Gothic self-titled, The Gamble by Namkeen, Fool by Porches, Human Ceremony by Sunflower Bean, Khalifa by Wiz Khalifa, and Slime Season 3 by Young Thug. And you it's, forgot, Mike. It's spatula by, by, um, Whisk. Mike, you forgot one. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You I, forgot Tractor Fucker by Skeeter McLongfellow. I didn't. For, I didn't forget that at uh, all. That never forgot, happened, Ashley. You forgot the. You forgot the new album by Revolting Cox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Is Tractor Humper an actual album? No, it's not an actual <laughs> album. I, I'm pretty sure it was a song on a Bloodhound Gang album. <laughs> this yeah, week in was, movies. I on, would not be surprised if that was a Bloodhound Gang song. Sweet in Theaters on February 5th, The Choice, starring Benjamin Walker, Teresa Palmer, Maggie Grace, Tom Welling, Tom Wilkinson, and Alexandra Daddario. All right, so this one is about, if the page will freaking load, Travis and Gabby first met his neighbors in a small coastal town, come back. In a small coastal town, come back. In a small coastal town, and wind up in a relationship that is tested by life's most defining events. Dad's the Army, Batman. starring Toby Jones. Hold on, let me see. I think... I'm pretty sure it's a Nicholas Sparks movie, so it's going to be garbage. Uh, and Dad, the girl's probably going to die of cancer. Dad's Army, starring Toby Jones, Bill Nehe, Tom Courtney, Bill Patterson, Daniel Mays, Michael Gambon, Blake Harrison, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Emily Atak, Mark Gaddis, uh, Ian Lavender, Frank Williams, and Alison Stedman. Are we talking so about all of the, Britain? Are we talking about the Britcom? That's yeah, me. it is called, it is, uh, the Wallington on Sea Home Guard Platoon it deals with a visiting female journalist and German spy as World War II draws to its conclusion. Yes. Thank you, Pikachu. Uh, Hail Caesar, starring Josh Brolin, George Clooney, Alden Ehrenreich, Rafe Fiennes, Jonah Hill, Scarlett Johansson, Francis McDormand, Tilda Swinton, Shannon Tatum, Allison Pill, and Dolph Lundgren. So like all of Hollywood, isn't this? I am much. dying to see this movie because it just this movie reminds looks so me. good. It reminds me of like a Mel Brooks movie almost. It's mm-hmm. uh, Coen Brothers, by the way. Yeah, the but I mean, like Dolph Lundgren. Dolph. Well, a Hollywood fixer in the 1950s works to keep the studio stars in line, but the actual plot is about George Clooney's actor character getting kidnapped. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, starring. Lily James, Sam Riley, Matt Smith, Lena Headey, Charles Dance, Jack Houston, Douglas Booth, Hermione Corfield, Bella Heathcote, and Suki Waterhouse. Wait, Jane Matt Austin. Smith is in this? Yeah, the doctor. Or the yep. former doctor. Basically, everybody that was in here doesn't have a real name. Uh, <laughs> so name <laughs> Suki. That's my cat's name. Okay, so uh, Jane Austen's classic tale of the tangled relationships between lovers from different social classes in 19th century England is faced with a new challenge, an army of undead zombies. Can we can we end the zombie craze now, please? Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm done with this, you guys. But, I'm sick of zombies. I've been sick of them for years. Like, just get on with it! Uh, misconduct, starring Josh Duhamel, uh, Alice Eve, Malin Ackerman, Byung-Hun Lee, Julia Stiles, Glenn Powell, Al Pacino, and Anthony Hopkins. Julia Stiles. This one. Anthony Hopkins. 
is about when an ambitious young lawyer takes on a big case against a powerful and ruthless executive of a large pharmaceutical company, he soon finds himself involved in a case of blackmail and corruption. All right. Julie so, style movie. So, real life story? My, cal- wall my, my wall calendar still says January. I forgot to change it. Well, I, I will say, uh, Malin Ackerman, definitely gorgeous in person. Not sure if she's a... Uh, She's actually a ditz in real life, or if she was just uh, in character, or, or if she's putting, on, or or uh, if she's putting on the ditz. I'm gonna hit you. Koala piss <laughs> has chlamydia in it. Did you know that koala piss has chlamydia in it, baby? If you're dumb and you don't know where to go to. Uh, February second. This is video games now. Uh, American Truck Simulator for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Cobalt <laughs> for Windows, uh, 360, and Xbox One. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth for PS4 and Vita. Dre for Windows, iOS, and Droid. Gravity Since Rush Dre. Remastered for PS4. Mega Dimension Neptunia 7 for PS4. Nitro Ooh, Plus uh, Blasters actually, Heroines uh, Infinite Duel he? for PS3 Dude. and PS4. Uh, Not a Hero for PS4. Sorcery for Windows. Tales of Symphonia HD for Windows. On the 3rd, mm-hmm. Fortified for Windows and Xbox One. Great Detective Pikachu for 3DS. On the 4th, Agatha Christie, the I don't think murders. that's actually being released in the U.S. that day. Uh, you are right, because that is actually the uh, Japan-only release. That uh, is the Japan-only. Fe- Sorry, guys. February 4th, Agatha Christie, the ABC murders for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. February 5th, XCOM 2 for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And that's it for this week. Assuming we actually get a release of Great Detective Pikachu. Yes. Of course we're getting it. It's going to have either Christopher Walken or uh, Danny DeVito in the lead role. <laughs> I I want Danny DeVito so bad to do that because it would be hilarious. Top eight zombie comedies. I'll go Sean be dead. Okay. My boyfriend's back. Uh, that's great, Billy, but what's your pick? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> What's your pick, though, I'm Bill? going it... with Tucker and Dale versus, versus Evil. evil. Mm-hmm. And Jason. Shaun of the Dead's an obvious pick. Uh, so give me uh, Return of the Living Dead. Okay. And uh, I don't know. I'll go with... Go with warm bodies. Hmm? Go with warm bodies. I guess. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll go with that, I guess. It probably won't be on there, but... Uh, just missing the cut. Uh, jo- uh, One of the Dead. <laughs> from 2010. What was that? The Mexican version? No, it's not a Me- It's a different movie altogether. It's these three guys with the cleaning service, and then they have to rid the town of zombies. Uh, Poultry Geist Night of the Chicken Dead for 2006. Dead and Breakfast, 2004. Return of the Living Dead Part 2 from 1988, and Dance of the Dead from 2008. At number 8, it's 2015's Burying the X. Uh, number 7, Dead, Zo- Dead Snow from 2009. Oh, that one was good. Who doesn't love zombie Nazis? <laughs> uh, number 6, Dead Heat from 1988. Oh, Joe Piscopo. Yes, Pikachu. Uh, number 5, Fido from 2006. Number four, The Return of the Living Dead from 1985. Number three is Brain Dead from 1992. A.K.A. Dead Alive. Uh, or Dead Again, actually. Uh, yeah. No, number two is Zombie Land, 2009. And number one is Shaun of the Dead, 2004. Of course, <sighs> of course it is. Pick Brain Dead. That would have fucking. I don't know why. I wasn't like I was thinking earlier. So I was just like, what's that one where the guy's like, oh, I kick ass for the Lord. Mm-mm. I, I I got really obscure. My boyfriend's back is really obscure zombie comedy. So your boyfriend's back is really obscure. Back from the dead. <laughs> There's a reason why that movie's very obscure, Bill. Because it, it sucks. sucks. Yeah. All right. <laughs> why did that open? I scrolled. I, I scrolled to the next thing, and then it opened up SmackDown spoilers. Like that's not even the right show. What is wrong? Spoiler alert, dude. I don't want to spoil be spoiled on that. Uh, top eight video game composers. Oh God! No clue who Yep, the Final Fantasy composer. Ah mm. oh, man, uh, <laughs> I've lost at this point because I really don't know. Can I? Uh, can I? Um, 
Can I suggest one? I, and I can't believe that you guys don't think about this because of he was on Game Grumps, uh, Grant Kirkhope. Oh my well, god! Uh, that was that was gonna be mine, but thank you anyway. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> there's there's the quartet. It's it's Uematsu, um, and then uh, there's uh, Kochi Kondo, the mm-hmm. Mario Zelda Star Fox, pretty much everything Nintendo guy. Um, I'm I'm gonna go with him because I love right. Zelda music, and I'm Here's- seeing them actually uh, in a few weeks. And nice after, you, if you have Grant Kirkhope, I'll take fucking Jesper Kid. Uh, Ashley said she was going to pick uh, Harry Gregson Williams. There's also uh, Yoko Shimomura, uh, Oematsu's uh, other person at Square that he collaborated with. Uh, what about, what about, what about you, Bill? Remember. What about you, Bill? I I don't know. I don't know. All right. The person from uh, Silent Hill. Akira Yamaoka is the other one that I was thinking of. I know programmers, but not. <laughs> All right. At number eight, Marty O'Donnell and Michael Salvatore. Assassin's Creed. Number seven, Grant Kirkhope. Number yeah. six, Norhiko Hibino and Harry Gregson Williams. So, Ash. Dun, 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 dun. Number five, uh, Miki ha- Higashino. Uh, number four, oh. Jesper, Jesper Kidd. I always forgot her name because she, like, her name was always abbreviated in the SNES games. Yep. Number Just three. Kid did Assassin's Creed 3, I think. Uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, all the way up through, <laughs> Revel- all the way up through Revelations. Uh, he also did okay. Freedom Fighters in the early Hitman game. Hi. Number three, Nobuo Uematsu. Wow, I'm only number three. I, uh, I saw them in con. I see one, I think, three years ago. I mean... Hello? You still there, Jace? No, I did not get Skyped again. Jace might have. Jace? I'm still here. Okay. Yeah, you cut you off cut in out. mid-sentence. Where and did you see them in concert? I, uh, I saw Final Fantasy's uh, concert the first year they came to Boston, um, because they'd been trying to do Boston for years, and the venue uh, had a huge pipe organ built into the back of it, and they played the entire nine and a half minutes of Dancing Mad from Final Fantasy VI on that pipe organ, and it was amazing. There's videos of it on YouTube. Uh, number two, Yoko Shimomura, and number one is Koji Kondo. Ha-ha! <laughs> ha <laughs> Can't go wrong. I mean, you know, Mario, Zelda, Star Fox, like, he is the music guy for Nintendo. I mean, he's also the namesake of... Uh, the uh, Animal Crossing character, K.K. Slider. Mm-hmm. All right, so... so that in- guy created the Road to Bowser song that I love so much. Yeah. All right, into the uh, the actual news. We have the SAG Awards to talk about. Uh, oh, yeah! Oh, boy! Snub the black actors. And uh, the winner of the saggiest was... No. Uh, <laughs> the SAG Award goes to my boobs. Oh, uh, Not yet. Thank I'm still God. trying to get a SAG card. <laughs> outstanding performance. Seriously. Outstanding performance by cast in a motion picture with the spotlight. Yeah. Uh, male actor is, in a leading is role. Is Ruffalo in that movie? I don't know. Uh, outstanding performance up. by a male actor in a leading role went to Di- DiCaprio for Revenant. Uh, yeah, which means I mean he's looking pretty good. Performance by a female actor in a leading role went to Brie, Brie Larson for Room. Uh, male actor in supporting role went to Idris Elba, Beast of No Nation. Female actor in a supporting role went to Alicia Vikander for The Danish Girl. Uh, performance by an ensemble in a drama series went to Downton Abbey. Huh. Of course. Uh, ensemble in a comedy series went to Orange is the New Black. Uh, mm-hmm. Male actor in a drama series, Kevin Spacey, House of Cards. Female actor in a drama series, Viola Davis, How to Get Away with Murder. She's really good in it. Male actor in a comedy, Jeffrey Tambor for Transparent. Uh, He's always funny. Female Which I act- heard handles the trans thing much better than the Danish girl. Uh, female actor in a comedy series, Uzo Aduba for Orange is the New Black. Mm-hmm. Male actor in a TV movie or miniseries, Idris Elba for Luther. So he won twice. Female actor in a TV yeah, movie. Luther's been a series for the past five years on the BBC. I just want to point that out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, female actor in a television movie or miniseries, Queen Latifah for Bessie, which is Jeremy's new favorite movie because she he gets to see one of his great loves topless, and that is Queen, <laughs> right. Queen, Queen Latifah. 
Uh, Alex <laughs> Tisdale, who she she if anybody's boob should get a SAG award. <laughs> Queen Latifah. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> I'm sure they're perfectly acceptable boobies. Yeah, you look them up then. Uh, I don't want to see Queen Latifah's titties. She's, I've never seen her topless, but she does have some big ass titties. Uh, stunt Ensemble in a motion picture uh, went to Mad Max Fury Road, and Stunt Ensemble in a comedy or drama series went to Game of Thrones. There you go. That's an interesting award. Stunt Ensemble. Yes, such a such a, a cunning stunt. <laughs> uh, some sad news to talk about. Unfortunately, Senior Anderson and uh, Paul Cant- Cantner, uh, who were original original members of Jefferson Airplane, Senior was the lead singer before Grace Slick, uh, and Paul Cantner. It's before they turned the Starship. Uh, yeah, that was before they. Yeah, they were still airplane with Grace Slick for a little while as well. Following the news of Anderson's death, the surviving founding members of Jefferson Airplane paid one time uh, paid tribute to their one time singer. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it though. She uh she gave birth to her first child uh, at, uh right after their first album, so that's why she left and was replaced by Grace Slick. So yep, she couldn't Smart. can't be on the road with a newborn. Smart boy. So uh, here's the plum in YouTube's anus this week. <laughs> I'm sure you I've heard about this. It's it's it's, it's a fine this, plum. It's a fine we, plum. Just, uh, Mike, what is the etymology of the phrase "plum in the anus"? Mm, I don't know. I haven't heard that it's, one it's, before. It's, it's like I the hand in the anus, but they put the that plum in the anus. anus. Did you have to get past the plum to pull that out? I don't know. It's, Last, it's, it's your anus, anus Kelsey. Kelsey. Anyway, last Tuesday, the Fine Brothers sparked a great deal of controversy when they announced a licensing program called React World, uh, in which they were going to trademark the word React, which means the YouTubers wouldn't have been able to use React in their videos without being... Not, e- not even saying it. Uh, as a result of the backlash, the Fine Brothers have since reversed their decision to move forward with the React World program and apologize for the controversy in a statement released earlier today. Earlier yesterday, actually. Uh, the Fine Brothers intend to rescind all the React trademarks and applications, which include React, Kids React, and Elders React, as well as release of all past content ID claims. React World was a plan to trademark and license the reaction video format, as well as the word React, which many people objected to because so many people already make React videos. The Fine Brothers have built a successful business out of showing people young and old reacting to anything and everything. The plan was to provide tools and assets for others to make React videos on their own channels. According to the BBC, the Fine Brothers clarified their licensing plan in a Facebook post that has since been taken down. Uh, yeah, so... They were they, they were trying to help people who do react videos. Instead, they screwed them. As uh, as of now, as of now, the Fine Brothers have thirteen million subscribers. How much before they before they uh, before all this went down? <clears throat> they had, they had about fifteen million. So they lost a couple million subscribers over there. Yeah. That, that what makes me be- laugh about it is uh, it's kind of uh, like a while back. King, the guys who make Candy Crush tried to trademark uh, the word saga and force anybody trying to use that word in gaming to not be able to use the word saga. Haha, ha, jokes on you. Saga. Squaresoft's been doing that for years with uh, the saga series of games that they yes. don't seem to make many of anymore. And Xeno saga. Yeah. Saga. And uh, before that, setting precedent for the, oh, we own this, but these guys actually won the lawsuit, was uh, the greedy, evil charity Susan G. Komen for The Cure, who went after every single little charity under the sun who called themselves blank for The Cure and said, you can't use those three words, they belong to us, and actually got away with it. I, yeah, I that hate one's to, some bull. Jays, I hate to interrupt, but... Act, there's a stream going on right now from somebody named Scruffy JC where they're actually showing the Fine Brothers channels and all of their subs- the subscriber counts going down. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going down. Oh my god. Apparently, yeah. Um, here's the link to it. Going and down. one of the front runners of helping get the getting this thing started was 8-Bit Eric. 
Going down, down, baby. <clears throat> no street and a range road. One of the, one of the uh, down, YouTubers down, that, I, down, that I'm down, acquainted down, with, uh, down, 8-Bit down, Eric, down, was down. one of the people that started bringing this up because he had um, videos, reaction videos, mm-hmm. and other people have done this that he was reacting to their videos, <clears throat> the video game related ones, and they were like, well, that's copy done. You can't do that. Bar- it's like pretty much anything on YouTube, you can't really copyright it. Because so, if they say, well, you're using our content, he's like, yeah, but you're using other people's content in your content. So. It's like trying to copyright fan art. Yes. Um, if, you, if it's a, if you're, your take on it, then you can't really do anything about it. Uh, new that's rumor. Like you can't, that's like trying to pull, you know, trademark thoughts. They were they they basically they them alone were trying to police YouTube, and it backfired on them. And I'm glad it backfired. YouTube on them. can't police YouTube. I don't think you're gonna do it. Well, YouTube's been having all sorts of. There's been all other all sorts of other problems with YouTube this past couple weeks, and it ain't just the Fine Brothers. Uh, if you remember, a lot of channels are getting copyright strikes for no reason, and some are getting like pulled down. Up to and including, like, Nostalgia Critics Channel is even getting hit. Um, it's been, his has been rescinded. His, yes, well, since, uh, but the point is, is it shouldn't have happened at all. Nope. I mean, this stuff has been going on with them for years. I mean, you never used to be able to dispute a copyright claim without first getting a lawyer. At least that's what happened to me years ago when a co- uh, two cosplay videos were yanked from YouTube uh, from Anime Boston 2006, um, because they had a lot of views and they were tagged with Full Metal Alchemist because Full Metal Alchemist characters were being cosplayed in them. And Aniplex, the Japanese company, actually had them taken down, not Funimation. And I was kind of pissed off about it because, uh, that I learned very hard back then the first rule of YouTube back up everything. Yeah. Because the, the other problem is, is you can put in a counterclaim, but it's not likely YouTube will, will see it That's in any kind of time. So of while you're sitting there for weeks and weeks losing money, there nothing's happening. Every episode of Dollar Bill Review I have backed up and stored in case one of them gets ripped off, and I can just put it back on. Because yeah, I, um, I, I've been up. I've uploaded uh, videos that I usually uh, upload to YouTube. I also upload elsewhere just to make sure that I have backups. And if it's something that won't go on YouTube because it'll probably get flagged, then I just put it elsewhere immediately. Like I should be putting it on the website. You know, like ask, like, "Hey, can I use my episodes to put it on the website?" Because they've one of them was like, "Hey, you know, this is a copyright song. Like, it's not a copyrighted song." I have it in the credits stating I can use this. And then they, they, they muted the videos. Uh, on those parts. Uh, a new rumor claims Bandai Namco is working on several NX games. Uh, Woo! with Super Smash Brothers planned as a launch title for Nintendo's next platform. Huh. Wouldn't be the first time Nintendo's launched with Smash Brothers, um, Considering that it was a, I think, near launch title for the GameCube. I think it came out within a month of the GameCube launching. Mm-hmm. Um, and Bandai Namco did a phenomenal job with the current one. I really think that this one, you know, sorry, melee enthusiasts, this one takes the cake. Complain all you want about the overabundance of Fire Emblem characters or characters with swords. I like to call this past version Smash Caliber. Because of all the sword characters. I mm-hmm. have no problem with it. I love it. I main sword characters in Smash Brothers. So, I mean, by all means, I'm getting the NX at launch. I don't care what the hell the NX is. I usually get every Nintendo thing at launch because they've never done me wrong, unlike the other companies. So, uh, you have to it, give it, it, is not, it is not confirmed if it's a new numbered Smash or not, but uh, yeah. I, I hope that if it isn't a new numbered Smash, and I really doubt it because 
the guy behind Smash, he's a huge diva, you know, always talking about how it kills him to make Smash. And I can't see Smash being made without me. He's he's such a freaking drama queen. And <laughs> I mean <laughs> he is. And and uh yeah, Sa- Sakurai is probably the biggest drama queen in the gaming industry. But he's uh, good at what he does. He's he's good at what he does, but I mean I don't wanna over show my characters in the game, says the guy who puts King DDD, Kirby, and Meta Knight into Smash, and then throws Pit, Palutena, and Dark Pit into Smash, and then puts a bunch of Kid Icarus trophies into Smash. I'm I don't want to over over put myself into the game. Sure, guy. Sure. Puts, and then I mean, puts, puts Ryu, Mewtwo, <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> I mean, like, I look at it this way. If it's a Smash game on the NX, it better be Goaty. Because if it's a Game of the Year edition, I will have no problem buying it. If i got to get all the DLC all over again, I'm sorry, Nintendo, you lost me right there. Because I already got all the DLC already on my and, current console. And it it uh, except be for the... Compatible. Except for the one they're getting ready to release. That, that's coming out pretty soon. Corrin uh, and Bayonetta. Next week, I think? Or in Cor- two weeks? Yeah. Corrin and Bayonetta. They're the last two. Yep. And, of course, uh, two more waves of Amiibo for Smash Brothers uh, also, next month. I'm, if they do a Cloud Amiibo, I'm going to get it. They're going to have to. They've Cloud's already in confirmed Smash. all DLC characters will get Amiibo. Yes. I'm get it. They have anyway, to because he's in but, Smash Brothers, yeah. Okay. So, though, somebody was throwing Wicked Shade... On, you know how you can write like messages in the Wii U thing? Mm-hmm. You can write messages yeah. to people you fight on Smash. Mm-hmm. Someone said, winning won't bring Aerith back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. My God. I've seen that one a few times. I think my other favorite one is uh, the Dear uh, Mario letter uh, thing with Peach. But instead it's Peach going, Dear Bayonetta, see you in Smash, slut. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> Whenever she does fight, she does end up getting naked, but not by choice. Naked time! Her, I actually suit. started playing Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2 just to prepare myself for how she fights in Smash. And her suit so. is made of her hair, so, you know. Yeah, that's weird. Is that weird to anyone else? Her that her is, leather is, is made out of hair? Yes, I think that's kind of odd. Out of her hair, so whenever she's, like, yeah. on a combo streak, her clothes start slowly disappearing. Like, the creator Bayonetta has, has basically come out as an ass man. That's why Bayonetta <laughs> looks the way she does. Yeah. She, he's literally said, I love asses. I, <laughs> I, I, I will probably be streaming it in the near future, uh, yeah. since I got the Wii U version. And, uh, I only recently started playing it and messing around with it. I love the fact that they shamelessly threw in Nintendo costumes for her on top of it all. It's just like, okay, yeah, sure, Bayonetta is Link. I don't care. That's going to be fun. Like, Bayonetta is Samus. Go right ahead. All right. <laughs> yep. Screw the fan service. I think that it's more fun that you can run around and collect rupees instead of rings, you know, mm-hmm. or, or coins and summon giant Bowser fists. Like, it just makes it more unique. One more news story. And this one, uh, I think you'll be uh, a little interested in, all of you on this call, because you all are from the same era. Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon have tapped Jared Jared Hess, the director of Nacho, uh, of Nacho Libre and Napoleon Dynamite, to helm a movie called Nicktoons. Now, I heard about this movie uh, probably when they first announced that they were going back into the Nicktoons library. Yeah. And reevaluating all of the characters and stuff like that. So continue with the story and yes, uh, with Who Framed Roger Rabbit cited as an example, which makes me even more interested. Nick Tunes will blend live action with character appearances from numerous '90s Nickelodeon series. Confirmed already: The Ren and Stimpy Show, Doug, Rocco's Modern Life, Rugrats, The Angry Beavers, and uh, I think that's all of them so far. Uh, Ren and Stimpy? I hey Arnold yeah. somewhere along the line in that too was why another you, one. Why are you so Although surprised? Think... Why are you so surprised at Ren and Stimpy? Ren and Stimpy is one of the three original Nicktoons. Yeah. Now I, I seen now, seen now I hope they don't time. now now I hope they don't throw in according to Ginger because that yeah, show sucked. Yeah, the first three Nick, 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 Nicktoons ever were Doug Rugrats and Ren and Stimpy. I remember watching yep. the very first Nicktoon is broadcast back in 1994. <clears throat> yep, I remember that too. 
You know, uh, I, I heard, uh, I heard rumors of, uh, Hey Arnold and Ariel Monsters. Uh, Ariel Monsters around. is confirmed. I've heard rumors of Hey Arnold as well. Uh, the other rumor is that Hey Arnold is going to get its own standalone, possibly movie. just TV movie. Yeah. Uh, dealing with the whole Arnold's parents thing. Kind of how, uh, Cartoon Network did, uh, the Ed, Ed and Eddie movie dealing with Eddie's older brother. So, they'll have to like they'll that. have to bring in a different voice actor though because the original Arnold voice actor's voice changed. So. And he's like twenty seven <laughs> years old. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, not unless they said it like in in like, Hi, real time. I'm Arnold. Like he's an adult. Yeah, like Arnold strikes out as an adult looking for his parents or and something. Him and Helga are married. <laughs> that would be interesting. It would be interesting. I uh, I did see an interesting thing recently that uh, that said that Helga actually is the main character of Hey Arnold because first off the opening she's the one saying Hey Arnold throughout the whole thing yes and she monologues more than any other character in the series so I mean well, that's kind of it's kind of like how in Family Matters. Steve Urkel was a afterthought for his first few appearances. Then he became so popular that it basically became his show. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Arnold was the main character, but Helga seemed to have a lot more attention paid to her throughout the whole series. If we're going to revisit old shows, I mean, like, honestly, outside of Nickelodeon, probably my favorite Hey Arnold-ish, like, show was Recess. I really freaking loved Recess. So... That was Disney. Yeah, true, true. But I mean, like, um, within the same vein. So, so Jace, yes or no, did Spinelli and TJ get married? <laughs> what do you think? You know, that would have been very interesting to see how, like, if, if that would have played out or not. I mean, I honestly see them as being best friends, like, you know, TJ being, like, you know, the, uh, like, TJ having Spinelli as his, uh, Best man, actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, it is now time for you know what? It's time for the home stretch, and it is time for Joker's Jeopardy. No, it's time for John Cena. <laughs> I don't have my sound effects with me right now, so John Cena. Apple-do. All right. <laughs> this. Is Joker's Jeopardy! Let's meet today's contestants. First, a cast member of You Can't Be Serious and the Mental Cast from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Ashley Miller. A cast member of You Can't Be Serious and the Mental Cast from Virginia Beach, Virginia, Chelsea Tarkington. And our, re- and our returning champion, an actor from Boston, Massachusetts, Jace Deace. Whose two week oh. cash winnings total $98,799. All right, a little refresher because we have a new person playing the game, and that is Ashley, of course. It's a combination of Joker's Wild and Jeopardy. We're playing uh, the normal Jeopardy game using Jeopardy questions from the actual Jeopardy show, Jeopardy. And uh, <laughs> what's going to happen is when it's your turn, I will spin the wheel for you and uh, read off the categories that you spun. You'll pick one. If you spin a single, it's worth one times the clue value. A double's worth twice the clue value. A triple's worth three times the clue value. Natural triples are three and a half times the clue value. And, of course, uh, Triple Joker allows you to pick any clue value from any category for four times the clue value. The only way you can lose money is on Daily Doubles, which is one in the first round and two in the second round. Final Jeopardy will be played as normal. And, of course, these uh, since since Jeopardy has proven to take a, to- a long time in the past, of course, these are, on the, uh, these are on a timer. So 15 minutes for the first round, 10 minutes for the second round. So uh, let me just set that up right and set up the timer right now. It won't take very long. Boop. And no. There we go. Ah, uh, damn it. There we go. All right, so there we go. I got it on 15 for the first round. All right, the categories for the first round of play are public domain ringtones, <laughs> around the around the world, actors and actresses, replicas. There better be an answer in that one. <laughs> rep, replicas, Lucky Seven, 
and Afterglow. Now, except for Triple Jokers, whenever a category is picked, we're just going to start with the lowest valued clue. As on the show, they didn't on the show they didn't make it through each of the categories. So if there's a, a category that's not been revealed, obviously we can't take it. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Of course, we're going to be starting with our returning champion, Jace. And the timer will begin on the round when you pick your first selection out of these. Oh, Afterglow. I need to explain that. The category each correct response will come after the word glow in the dictionary. And as a matter of fact, we'll begin with the same two letters. All right, Jace. Joker, Afterglow, Joker. Joker, Joker, Afterglow. Uh, oop, and I fucked up the timer. There we go. Start. Got it. All right. We're st- uh, this is for 600. We're sticking with the fact that it's obtained by boiling hooves. What is glue? You got it. All right. Chelsea, for you. Afterglow, actress and actresses, Joker. Uh, let's go Joker, actors and actresses. For 400, here's something about this, there's something about Mary Star. She went to high school with Snoop Dogg. Who is Cameron Diaz? That is correct. Diggity, diggity. Ashley, for you. Lucky seven, lucky seven, Joker. Uh, we'll go Joker, lucky seven. All right. For 1800, Viminal and Aventine are two of this ancient metropolis' seven hills. Ah! Jace. Uh... Where is Rome? That is correct. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Jace for you. Replicas, actors and actresses, Joker. Uh let's do uh replicas. Okay. Damn it, scroll up. Okay, for eight hundred. Oak Ridge National Laboratory created a replica. Shelby Cobra using this alphanumeric technology. There's a picture that goes with it, by the way. Check it out. Using this alphanumeric technology. Ooh. Um, what is 3D printing? That's correct. Chelsea. Replicas, Joker, around the world. Mm, let's go Joker around the world. All right. For 800. Seen here... This port city of five million is found on both banks of the Neva River. Uh, what is St. Petersburg? That is correct. Ashley, for you. Lucky seven. Look and see which country it was in. Lucky seven. Public domain ringtones. Actors and actresses. Public domain ringtones. Uh, Thank you. I was going to say, please pick that one. It must be Hal Prince calling me when I hear this title tone. Listen. Listen closely. Send in the clowns? What is send in the clowns? That is incorrect. Uh, Jace? What is give my regards to Broadway? That is correct. Remember me to Harold Square. <laughs> Shut up, I know a bunch of old ass songs. Alright. Same here. <laughs> Jace, around the world, around the world, public domain ringtones, public domain ringtones. Let's do the ringtones. Alright, let me turn up the browser. Oh, no, that's as loud as it goes. Well, whatever. Alright, public domain ringtones is for 800. I programmed this song to play when the exterminator calls. Listen, get very close. <laughs> What is La Cucaracha? That's correct. All right, Chelsea, for you. Uh, Afterglow, Lucky Seven, Joker. Let's go Luck Joker, uh, Afterglow. Okay, Morose. What is Glum? That is correct. Glum. Ashley, for you. Joker, Lucky Seven, Afterglow. Uh, we'll go, uh, Joker actors and actresses? Okay, for 400, she starred in the movies, she starred in movies like Flirting with Disaster, Spanglish, and Fun with Dick and Jane. Who is... Oh, God, <clears throat> I know, uh... It's... Uh... Fuck. Jace. 
Uh, yeah, I haven't seen any of those movies, uh, but I know that Adam Sandler was in Spanglish, so who is Adam Sandler? No. Uh, Chelsea. What was the question? Uh, she started movies like Flirting with Disaster, Spanglish, and Fun with Dick and Chain. I don't know. Who is Taya Le- Zellweger? Who is t- who is Taya Leone? Taya uh, Leone is the answer. Yeah. Who is nobody cares? Jace. Joke- <laughs> Jace. Joker. Joker. Lucky Seven. Uh, not to give a shit. Joker, Joker, Lucky Seven. One of the Seven Sisters Colleges, this Northampton, Massachusetts school has been empowering women since the 1870s. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is Smith? Yeah, that's right. I, I went to UMass Amherst, so <laughs> I <laughs> knew that. Massachusetts. School. Uh, Chelsea, replicas, public domain ringtones, Joker. What is Joker? Public domain ringtones. All right. These are fun. For, uh, for 1200 let's take the call and mess with this flowery tune. Take a listen. Natalie? Uh, what is the Yellow Rose of Texas? That is correct. <sighs> I know that because I, I used to work at a Lone Star Steakhouse and they played that damn song. I know that because I used to be in Texas. Uh, Lucky Seven, Actors and Actresses, Joker, Ashley. Anything that mentioned Texas, they played it. Uh, Joker, Actors and Actresses. He and Stephen Merchant created the British TV show The Office. Who is Ricky Gervais? That's correct. He's such a cool guy. <laughs> Jace. Joker, Lucky Seven, Actors and Actresses. Uh, let's do uh, Lucky Seven. Okay. This conflict changed little in Europe, but saw Great Britain gain the bulk of New France. Seven. seven. What is the Seven Years' War? That is correct. And, uh, I am happy to report that category is gone. So, you do not have to worry about that one anymore. Whew. Let me get rid of it and reset the list so that we have a correct, the correct list. Alright. Chelsea, for you. Uh, around the world, replicas, actors, and actresses. Uh, uh, let's go. Uh, around the world. Why not? What's that? Around the world. Okay, uh, so this is a daily double for you. Chelsea, right now you have $3,200. You are in second place by two grand. You're behind Jace in first by, uh, about 34 grand. So what do you want to what do you want to wager? Let's make it a true daily double. You're gonna go true daily double, and I'll wa- wager all 3,200. Remember that you can lose it if you miss it. Here's your question. Like I don't care. This is for Chelsea only, so if she misses it, uh, nobody else will get a chance. They drive <laughs> they drive on the left in this South Atlantic group of about 200 islands and 2,900 people. Hmm. I... South Atlantic? What is the Caribbean? No, I'm afraid that is incorrect. That takes you down to zero. What are the Falklands? The Falkland Islands. The is what we're for. We need them for strategic sheep purposes. <laughs> Alright, Ashley, public domain ringtones, Joker, Joker. Joker, public domain ringtones. Alright, for immigrants from Italy, this 19th century song, song stirred up nostalgia for the homeland. Take a listen. Fuck, I know it, but I don't know the name. The name? Ugh. All right. <sighs> All right. Uh, Jace? I'm going to make my girlfriend's family proud. Um, what is Oh Solo Mio? That's correct. Very good. Very good. That was a triple stumper on the actual show, so that was... That was really How good. did you it's not It's a know? very... Uh, Chelsea, for you. Joker, Joker, Joker! 
All right, so you get to pick a category and a clue amount. Which category do you want out of the? I it? want um, what's open? You got public domain ringtones, around the world, actors and actresses, replicas, and afterglow. I will take public domain ringtones. Uh, okay, there's only one cat- one clue left, so you're taking it, and this is for four grand for you. And much like the Daily Double, Ashley and Jace will not get a shot at this. This hmm. Christmas tone was written in the late 19th century. Chelsea, take a listen. <laughs> what is Away in a Manger? That is very good. Away in the Manger is the correct answer. Ashley, replicas, Joker, Joker. Actually, nope, don't don't pick one of those because I forgot I need to reset the categories. Because that's the end of public domain ringtones. That's too bad. I really like that category. That was, a, a, fun, fun category. That was a fun category. That was a fun category. I will I will give you that. All right, now, Ashley, for you, Replicas, Afterglow, Joker. We'll do Joker, Replicas. Uh, A replica of the Hermione on which this marquee sailed to join the American Revolution made its own Atlantic crossing in 2015. What is the Desaad? Uh... No, that is incorrect. Uh, Jace? Motherfucker. What is the grand? No. Chelsea? Who is... Uh... John Paul Thomas? No, Marquis de Lafayette. Lafayette. Uh, Lafayette. <laughs> Alright. I don't even know if I named a real person. <laughs> At Jace. least I named a person. Jace, actors and actresses, Joker, Afterglow. Uh... Afterglow. All right. For 600? No, for 1,200. A massive surplus. Uh, what is a glut? That is correct. Uh, Chelsea. Joker, Joker, Joker! Hell yes! All right, you get to do it again. You know what to do. Uh, uh it's the same... Same categories as before, just uh, public domain ringtones and Lucky Seven are gone. So you get around the world, actors and actresses, replicas and afterglow. Afterglow. Uh, and do you want the 800 or the cl- 1,000 other clue? Let's go with 1,000. All right, so it's for four grand to you, if you get it correct. Adjective meaning pertaining to the buttocks. What is gluteal? I will accept. Gluteal or gluteal, that is correct. Uh... <laughs> Put you up to eight grand. Because it's the gluteus maximus. Because it's the gluteus maximus. Which is funny because I'm actually, while I'm doing this, I have a page open of butt exercises. Ashley, replicas, replicas, Joker. Joker, replicas. Some assembly is required when you buy a replica of one of these at the Eli Whitney Museum and Workshop. <laughs> Can you read that question again? Uh, some assembly is required when you buy a replica one of these at Eli Whitney's Museum and Workshop. Uh, damn it. My brain is dead. Jace. What's a cotton gin? Correct. Why would you want a replica cotton gin? Oh my god, where would you put it? In your butt. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Maybe you're glutious. Jace, replicas, actors and actresses, Joker. Uh, let's do uh, Joker replicas. All right, Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas turned a replica of this type of Cleopatra craft into a nightclub. Uh, what's uh, what's a uh, barge? That's that's right. And that category is also now gone. So uh, we're whittling them away. We are just about a minute remaining in the first round here. So I'm going to do the. I'm doing this as quickly as I can. There we go. And Ch- uh, Chelsea, uh, Afterglow, Around the World, Afterglow. Let's go Afterglow. All right. Automonopia for imbibing. What is glug? That is correct. And that category is now gone. (laughs) 
Uh, Woohoo! Give me, give me one of those glugs. <laughs> Early Kyler's favorite drink. Glug, glug. So we got two categories left. It's gonna be great. Let's do this. Gulp, gulp, glug. Ashley, uh, for you. As soon as I can get it to do what I okay, Joker around the world, Joker. Let's go with Joker around the world. Okay. Uh, Mexican hat is in Utah, and medicine hat is in this Canadian province. What is a sombrero? <laughs> N- no. Jace? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is Manitoba? No. Chelsea? What is this scan- sh- sk- 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 shit? No. no it's not. It's not. It's what is Alberta? I don't. I don't recall the. Uh... Oh, sorry, wrong button. There's Canadian provinces sombrero. Yeah, I didn't know there was a Canadian province called sombrero. Motherfucker. I... At the end of round one, Ashley's in, in third with twelve hundred. Chelsea's got ninety six hundred in second. Jace is leading with fifteen six. So uh, Ashley's gonna go first in the. Double Jeopardy round, which we will be setting up right now. Uh, reset that. Start. Uh, as you know, double, double clue, uh, double amounts for clues. Uh, two daily doubles in this round. And other than that, you know, same as before, 10 minute time limit. So it's gonna go a lot faster this one. Alright, categories for this round. Biology, characters and musicals, British royal houses, nook, Kindle and E readers. Uh, e is in quotation marks, and I think you know what that means. Ashley, we're starting with you for this round. Ashley, the timer will start when you pick from biology, biology, E readers. E readers. Okay. Uh, for 400, the original title of this Steinbeck novel was Selena's Valley. Of what is of mice and men? No, Jace. What is Ethiopian cuisine for dummies? <clears throat> no, Chelsea. Uh, what is Scrapes of Wrath? No, what is East of Eden? E readers, E and E readers is oh, in quotations, guys. E is in quotations. That means <clears throat> it starts with an E or has an I E totally in it in some the way. Category. Sorry. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're doing that category. What is the Adventures of Troy Ferguson? Jace. Oh, dear Kindle. Jace. Characters in musicals, biology, characters in musicals. Musicals, baby! Tony. Yeah. Tony. Maria. Bernardo. Oh, Maria. Uh, what is West Side Story? That is correct. A little girl named Maria. Chelsea. E-readers. Joker. Joker. I guess we're gonna go Joker, Joker. Characters in musicals. Billy <laughs> Flynn. Matron Mama Morton. Roxy Hart. What is Chicago? That is correct. <laughs> and the movie's pretty good, too. Hmm. Hold on, I'm doing some... There we go. Doing some adjustments. I just adjustments watched there. the movie in my film class on the unit on sound. Ashley, biology, e-readers, characters and musicals. Characters and musicals. Okay, well, you know what that means. Uh, Ashley, you're in third place. With twelve hundred, you're ten thousand dollars behind second place. You can only wager what you have. So, what would you like to wager for this? I'll go with six hundred. Okay. This is only Ashley's clue and only hers alone, so if she misses it, nobody else will get a chance to answer. Characters and musicals. FDR, dog catcher. Oh! Raise his hand. Ah. <sighs> uh. Oh, shit, I don't know. What is Can Annie? I answer anyway? What is Annie? Yes! Yep. What is Annie? And, uh, <laughs> FDR. You're gonna be, you're gonna be upset to learn, Chelsea, that that's the end of the category. No! <laughs> Excuse me, oh. I didn't hit that button. <laughs> Are we done already? No, Damn. that's not the end of the round, guys. I just did, I hit that by mistake. Uh, just redoing the uh, thing here. All right, now for Jace, e-readers, Joker, Joker. 
Uh, Joker biology. Uh, okay. Insert two letters into melanin to get this hormone that helps you, helps make you sleepy. I probably have a lack of this in me, so I drink it every night. What is melatonin? That is correct. Chelsea, uh, Joker e-readers, Joker. Oh, fine, Joker e-readers this time. <laughs> Making you do it. Longfel- Longfellow's Tales, Tale of a Sadie, it begins, This is the Forest Primeval. Oh my Christ, I have no idea. <laughs> what is... Uh, Elgin Woods? No. Ashley? Uh, pass. Uh, no. Jace? <laughs> what is Evangelion Neon Genesis? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call you wrong because you're so far in the lead and you added to it. What is Evangel- it's, what is Evangeline? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I was just bullshitting there! E-readers, e-readers, nook, Ashley. <laughs> um, I'll go with nook. Okay. Uh, this meal precedes nook in the name of a cozy kitchen area seen here. There it is. It'll pop up in a second. Come on. There you go. What is breakfast? That is correct. Mm. Oh, God. Uh, Jace, British Royal Houses, Joker, Nook. Uh, let's do, uh, Nook. Okay. This movie includes the line, nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> oh, uh, what is, uh, Dirty Dancing? That is correct. All right. For Chelsea. E-reader, yeah. E-readers. Biology. British Royal Houses. No biology. Most of these catalysts are proteins that end with the letters A-S-E. Mm. Mm. I don't know. And I'm Ash- in biology. All right. Ashley. What is the vein, the vein of my dick? No. <laughs> Jace? What are enzymes? Enzymes, yeah. Uh, of course enzymes. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> A- uh, Ashley, Kindle, Joker, Joker. Let's go with Joker, Kendall. This word meaning to kindle starts with the same three first letters as the basic type as a basic type of rock. Hmm. It's like I'm trying to touch it in my mind. I'm I'm fucked, I don't know. Jace. What is ignite? That's correct. Igneous Jace. <laughs> <laughs> Jace, British Royal Houses, Kindle, e-readers. Uh, let's go with Kindle again. Found between internal and engine, it's rapid oxidation, usually coupled with heat. What is combustion? That is correct. How was that biology? Oh no, that was Kindle, never mind. Kindle. <laughs> I got confused. Chelsea, Joker, e-readers, Kindle. Uh, let's go Joker, Kindle. Victory at all costs is sometimes referred to as this earth pol as a this earth policy. Victory what is, sc- oh. what is scorched earth. That is correct. Okay, you didn't need me to reread it again. Good. Nah, I got it. We good. A- Ashley, Joker, Joker, British Royal Houses. Uh let's go with Joker Nook. From eighteen seventy one to eighteen ninety one. Mark Twain lived in the Nook Farm region of this Connecticut city. Oh my god. Why is my brain melting? Jace. <sighs> Jeopardy will do that to you. <laughs> Jace. Uh, where is Hartford? Hartford, yes. 
Any uh, other time, I'd fucking know this shit. Right next to my girlfriend. <laughs> Mark Twain was good friends with the guy who founded my town. Jay, actually. Joker, e-readers, Nook. Uh... Let's go, uh... Let's go Joker, uh... Biology. Your floating ribs are so named because their anterior ends don't attach to this bone. What's the sternum? That is correct. All right, Chelsea, for you. Biology, Joker, Joker. Uh, Let's go Joker biology, why not? It's the ten-letter term for the principle that living organisms are produced only by other living organisms. What is reproduction? Incorrect. Ashley? No idea. What is homeostasis? What is again? What's that, Ashley? I didn't hear you. Repeat the question. It's the ten-letter term for the principle that living organisms are produced only by other living organisms. Uh, what is photosynthesis? No, Jace? Uh... What is biogenesis? That is correct. Yes. I was going to say intercourse, but you know. <laughs> he, is the, he is the smartest Adam Sandler extra in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean. Uh, Ashley, Nook e readers biology. I'm going to go with e readers. Thomas Gray said, The paths of glory lead but to the grave in this sad poem written in a country churchyard. What is Fuck Me Silly? No. Jace. Uh, sad graveyard. Uh, what is Elegy? That's correct. Thank you, Ledger of Zelda. <laughs> All right, and... Jace, e-readers, British Royal Houses, Joker. I think nobody wants British uh, Royal Houses. Let's do biology. All right. Inside an animal cell besides the nucleus, there are different organelles, including these powerhouses of the cell, that convert <laughs> food, food to usable energy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Parasite Eve. Uh, what is mitochondria? That is correct. Just went over this <laughs> last night. I'm it, actively in a biology class. The guys. round is over, and actually, I I will say this: I I think Jace can mo- some thank Ashley for an assist because every time she misses one, Jace got first crack at it. So and Jace knew most of them. Uh, right now in third place is Ashley with 400, so she can still play the, uh, Final Jeopardy with us. Chelsea's got 12,400 in second place. Jace is leading with 33,800. Jesus, Jace. <laughs> could, could you put the, the, the scores down? Just yeah, so I'm I can doing come that. Up with a... So there okay, you go. Cool. Uh, it Jesus is time. Christ. It is time for Final Jeopardy. Uh, remember to send me your wagers in private message. The Final Jeopardy category is Contemporaries. Go ahead and send me your wagers. Contemporaries is the Final Jeopardy category. I'm so glad this is for real money. Because I would be fucking beaten to death. I know that's not the think music, but... <laughs> yeah, where's it the ain't thing quite thing time for the think music, music yet. I was about to say, why is Sanford and Son starting up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just waiting I have on a couple, J- just, like, stored up answers if I don't know the answer. Just waiting on Jace's uh, wager. Uh, He's thinking about well, he it. actually has to do math. Yeah, he'll yeah. have to do math. I have, he's I have to math. Figure out how much to wager that he'll still be in first place. Wazer? I wager all of it. Did you say Wazer? Yes, he has to Wazer. <laughs> he has to Wazer it. Say it it's so. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Does he look like Buddy? Huh? I look just like Buddy. Wee you. Oh, and you made me. Oh, yo, right. I look just like Buddy Holly. All right, wagers are in. <laughs> Wagers are in, so remember to send me uh, the answers also in private message. I weezer all of it. Dur- during uh, the Think Music, which we'll be playing just uh, directly. Here is your final Jeopardy category. Or, final Jeopardy categories to contemporaries. Here's the final Jeopardy question. 
1851 visit to Europe, Matthew Brady had hoped to meet this man who inspired him, but he died just as Brady set sail. 30 seconds and go. Just waiting for Ashley, and Ashley is in. All right, let's start with. But I didn't get it right. Let's start. uh, (laughs) Let's start with. uh, Let's start with Ashley. She uh, was in third place. She was responsible for most of Jace's winnings. She wrote down who is Vanga. I don't even know V A N G U H. What is that? Van Gogh, probably. Is that supposed to be Van Gogh? Uh, in any event, it's that uh, obviously it's, in, it's incorrect. So uh, the that the takes, bus is coming and everybody's jumping. The, it takes her down. To, it takes her down to zero. Is the point? Uh, Chelsea was in second place. She had twelve thousand four hundred. She uh, she wrote down something. I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. She said, "What is a picture of Mike having sex with a horse?" Which is not only so, which is not only wrong. It's so wrong that I'm actually going to put you in the negatives and make you third place finish. Uh, <laughs> On, uh, by default. So, uh, congratulations for that. I'm putting you at negative $1,000. Uh, Jace, uh, he was in the lead the whole game. He wrote down, who is Rob Gronkowski? That's that right. Is also, that is also not right. No, no, no. That's, I think that's right. No, that's uh, not right. I you're think thinking, I just know who it is. you're thinking of Tom Brady. Uh, no, the correct answer is Louis de, Louis de Guerre. Louis de Guerre is the correct answer. No, I had no idea about that. Never mind. I have no clue. I mean, like, I hear Louis in French name. I'm like, Louis Pasteur, Louis Brer. It was nice meeting you, Louis. Well, let's it see, was uh, nice meeting you, Louis. Um, but, first of all, Jace, why do you sound like the fucking lead singer from Gold Gold Bordello? So uh, <laughs> let's actually see. Let's actually see what he wagered and see if he finishes behind everybody else. No, the, he only wagered $9,000. So he's gonna win the. He's even though he missed Final Jeopardy, he's still gonna win the game with twenty four thousand eight hundred uh, total. And uh, let me just figure out how much that is total for you now over your three weeks. Uh, twenty four eight hundred. Excuse me. <laughs> well, oh, while you're trying to figure out, while you're trying to figure it out, <laughs> I I'm is an intentional to... fluffer. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Jace finished today with 24,800. That makes Jace a three week champion, and you're going to be back again next week. Your current three week total is 123,599. So, congratulations on that. Uh, holy crap. That's a lot. And of course, once again, Jace is going to be back with us on the Metal Cast next week to play another Joker Jeopardy. So, uh, as long as he keeps winning, he can keep appearing on the show. He might be here forever, folks. He might be a, he might be our new third regular. Uh, <laughs> you've been on so many episodes, you're updated a regular. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. I've now done a three peat twice in a row. So yes. can I break my record of three in a row? Well, I think well, I just did. So you're, you're going to, cause next week will be a month straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There is so, no there life. There is only Jace. There is only Jace. <laughs> There is only Zool. <laughs> uh, Chelsea Tarkenton, where do we find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, doing the Twitter thing, at Chelsea, C-H-E-L-F-F-I-E. And you can find me at my new branded spanking new blog, which is filmbookproject.blogspot.com. But there's nothing there yet. It just It's pretty. Uh, but I haven't done anything yet, where I will be reviewing the entire contents of a thousand and one movies to see before you die nice uh billy carter where do we find you you can find me on youtube dollar bill reviews find me on facebook billy carter you can find me on twitter bill carter 17 find him on pikachu you can find me on russell riffs every sunday every sunday 
You can also find me on You Can't Be Serious. You can also find me sitting on your couch watching you as you bathe. Asha Miller, where do we find you? Uh, well, you can find me on Twitter at Blondio. I've been polishing that fucker off, so I started using it again. Uh, you can find me on Geek Juice Media as one of the co-presenters of Dartboard Cinema, where we're getting into the swing of things, and tomorrow we'll be recording a movie that I chose. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's fun. And sometimes I'm on You Can't Be Serious, sometimes I'm not, and, uh, uh, sometimes I'm contemplating why Koala Piss has chlamydia. Jace Dace, where do we find you? (laughs) So, uh, you can find me on, uh, uh, Facebook, Critical Hit Cosplay. You can find me on, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, uh, YouTube, Crit Hit Jace. Uh, you can also find me on uh, Tumblr, uh, Mind of Jace with uh, little hyphens. And uh, also on uh, Meverse, Crit Hit Pro. And also on You Can't Be Serious. Yep. <laughs> it's almost I always like forget about that, but uh, I won't like- be on uh, next couple of weeks because of uh, prior commitments. Well, we're not, even, well, we're not even recording one next week, so uh, every yeah. coming week, so that's okay. Uh, and I'm over at Twitter, Facebook, Steam. You can find me at MentalCastMC. Uh, I do TVForYourMind.com where I do Slam, Wrestle Riffs, The Joker's Wild, You Can't Be Serious. Uh, I'm on Geek Juice Media where I do For Fact's Sake, This Show, and Geek Juice Gaming Live, which we'll be doing, we will be doing that tonight at 10. Uh, tonight is this airs, of course. Uh, tonight at 10. I don't know what we're playing yet. I will be figuring it out, uh, within the time, by the time you hear this, I will already know what we're doing. Game Roulette. Yeah, that's a... I'll, I'm going to do Game Boy <laughs> Roulette, if you don't be careful. Uh, Game Jackbox. Roulette. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't... Wait, what is Game Roulette? Like, there's... No, Game... a gun, but there's a dick in a chamber? G-A-M-E. <laughs> game. There's, there's only one... You get there's six know. holes, and you stick your hand in... I'm Mike Riley. She's Chelsea Tarkington. I'm Billy Carter. Koala Pit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of the jail pool. When, yeah. you, when you play Kate Roulette, there's six guys, but one of them's a cat. We're going to see you next week on the Mental Jazz. Good night. <laughs>